another take on painting lavender. Lots of students say we want to see how much water and how much paint you use. So I'm going to do that, hopefully, in this video. To start off with, I'm using Fabriano. 140 pound, 300 gram, 1264 Fabriano watercolour and it's um, a rough cold press. Okay, so it's got a texture to it. Now, I've put some masking round the tape, round the outside, just to see where my paint is. Please bear in mind that when you use masking tape, not to brush into the tape. If you've got a textured paper such as this, it might not be forming an absolute seal and you'll get some seepage. And that's always worth remembering in any process where you're using tape. Okay, two pots of water, one for washing your brush and one for mixing your colours. This is so you don't get contamination. So, what am I going to use? I've got here a Pro Art Renaissance Sable. It's got a nice point. A number, number six, I think that is. It's a bit worn. So, we'll see how we get on with this. So, one brush and a limited palette. So, lavender. There's going to be the slight rim of the pot here. The lavender will be coming out the top. The light will be coming this way. Now what colours am I going to use? Let's have a look. We've got a burnt sienna there which will be lovely for the pot. These by the way are Paul Rubens. They're nice paints. They sent me some to do a review which I did some years ago. They're very creamy and they activate quite quickly. By that I mean is whenever you start to use your paints, I usually spray with water and it just sort of wakes them up a little bit. We all need waking up a bit, don't we? So I'm going to use that for the pot. Now I've got a permanent violet there. That might be okay for the violet itself without having to mix. But I'm also going to have some white. Push that up a bit because I want that creaminess of the lavender colour in some places. You will hear people say you don't use white in watercolour painting because you use the white of the paper. That is correct up to a point but there are some times when you want that pastely sort of colour and also remember white will make the pigment you're using go opaque. As for the green, mm, I don't know, maybe that tree green with a bit of something else. Let's see how we get on. So, where am I going to start? I'm going to start by wetting my brush. Okay. And I always just take the excess off. So, I want some of the... Um, this one, wasn't it? Hang on. Let me just get myself organised. Not quite with it yet. That one, I do believe. Let's just have a look. Nope, next one. Yes, that's a better colour. Now, see how activated that was? So what I'm going to do, I've got the tiniest bit of colour on that brush. I'm now going to dip it in the water. See? Take off the excess and just give myself a rim. Now you can see how textured that paper is already. Okay, that will do to start. Now I'm going back to the paint and I'm going back in to that wet and let it run. Now what I want to get here is a bit of the rim for the pot. See round the side. That's the inside of the pot coming down and let's just have a little bit. Follow the arc round then you'll know you've got the shape right. Back into the water, a bit more paint. A 
coming up from the tape, not down, just in case there's a bit of seepage. Bit more water. Okay, now this is a very good exercise for everybody when you're doing watercolour painting because you want to get the hang of how much water and how much paint. Right, okay, I'm going to rinse my brush off, take the excess off. Always tidy your brushes up, please. Look after them and they'll look after you. I'm now going to think about putting some lavender in. So let's have a look at this permanent. Wow, wow, what a stunning colour. Now that had been activated with water so you can see what a great colour it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the clean water, pick up some water. Look, you see that brush is quite laden. Okay, and I'm just going to put some blobs of the heads of lavender. See how wet that is? Again, more water. This is what a lot of people aim for, to paint in a more wet and loose style. Now, see the difference in colour? That's because the brush was more laden with the pigment and I've been adding water. Right, we want to go off there. Let's go back and pick some more up. Just drop some in. Now, look how it runs. Let it play. More water. Go back to that. See, I haven't gone back to the paint yet at all. I've got plenty here because watercolours last a long time. Now, I think that's rather fab. Okay, so let's just leave that for a minute. Look at these lovely marks down there and up here. Okay, going to rinse that brush off. Good rinse, take off the excess, tidy your brush off and let's think about the green. So I was looking at what they call tree green, oh no that's far too bright. Let's add a little bit of what they call sea blue. Ooh. Remember your paints will always change according to manufacturer. Now that's rather an interesting colour. I wonder how it would be if I took some white. Because if you look at lavender green, it's a sort of a grey. Oh, that's quite nice. A bit too bright. A bit too bright. Let's take a little bit of ooh, a little bit of that. A little bit more. Let's turn the edge off. Okay, let's just have a play. Go in, get some water. Mm, not quite right, we'll play with that. But it just gives me a starting point to know where I'm going. Now, I do try to keep a limited palette, but on this occasion, I'm going to take some What's that? A bit of Payne's Grey and just soften that off. A little bit more of the green, that's better. A bit more green, that's better. Okay, yeah, okay. So what we can do now, we can go in and we can do all this. Don't worry if your colours merge. This is all part of the fun. Because what you can do, if you're one of those people who like to get everything absolutely perfect, this isn't going to suit you at all, but you can go back afterwards when it's dry and do lots of little fiddly bits like that. Okay. Now, what I need to do is rinse off my brush, take off 
take off the excess, go to my yeah, raw rumber, and let's just fill in round here. Doesn't matter if it seeps, this is where the soil is. Now I'm leaving that white rim because I'm going to come back to this pot. It's drying off nicely. Come back to it. So we can see that that plant is now sitting in the pot. Don't worry about your colours if they're bothering you a bit. More the process, the learning in here is more about the water, the balance of the water and the um, the mixing of the pigments. Rinse my brush off, take off the excess and pause. <laughs> 